Hello, this is Dr. Shruti Sripathi. I am consultant rheumatologist from uh, Sunshine Hospital. Today, I am going to talk about joint pains after menopause in women. With menopause, generally our body experiences a lot of changes. The main change is reduction in some of the hormones, particularly estrogen. Estrogen generally has an anti-inflammatory effect over the joints. So with menopause, when the levels of estrogen reduce, inflammation in the joints increases. So in day-to-day -day practice, the most common conditions that we see in a woman after menopause is rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis, gout, osteoporosis and hypothyroidism. Most of the people still have a confusion regarding how do we actually differentiate rheumatoid arthritis from osteoarthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis typically affects many joints. If suppose uh, joints of one hand are involved, we would expect the joints of the other hand to be involved as well. The studies have shown that the earlier the menopause sets in, the severity of the rheumatoid arthritis increases. Similar thing in osteoarthritis. The osteoarthritis is basically the wear and tear of the joints and estrogen either directly or indirectly causes the changes in the cartilage and thereby predispose into osteoarthritis. The other most common condition which we would see in a postmenopausal woman is gout. Gout is typically a pain which is happening in one joint at a time specifically involving uh, the foot joints which is severe excruciating pain and we would expect the pain to come down in the next two to three days time. This is initially once in a while and then it tends to become more continuous. So it's really important to recognize the type of joint pain that the woman is suffering from. And the other problems which occur with the waning of estrogen is the bone quality tends to reduce and thereby there is increased risk of fracture. And also at this time, the vitamin D levels also tend to reduce. And the women at this age also tend to suffer from suboptimal level of uh, thyroid, thereby causing weight gain. So how do we tackle with these problems? Maintaining a healthy diet, a proper exercise, and uh, maintaining uh, weight is very crucial to control these symptoms. Healthy exercise, I would mean uh, any kind of aerobic exercises, but yoga and swimming are really good in improving the muscle strength and quality without putting too much pressure on the joints. You can put a lot of proteins in your diet, a lot of nuts in your diet, and also lots of fresh fruits and vegetables, which have antioxidant properties and thereby control these joint pains. You can also take oral supplements like calcium and D-vitamin. Maintaining a healthy diet uh, also controls the body weight and thereby reducing uh, the weight on your weight bearing joints, particularly the hips and knees. And specifically, if you have any problem in particular, you can always consult your doctor who will do the appropriate tests and put you on the right medication. Thank you. Sunshine. It's